Hello, in this video we're going to take a look to DocJ. This is a control panel that uh, will help you manage your Docker container applications and um, in this video we're going to see exactly how we can uh, install it and how it's working. This is uh, created by the one that created the application of Aptai Kuma, monitoring application that can help you monitor your websites, your applications, databases. So it is uh, created by someone that it has already experience in this area and it has a uh, good knowledge about open source and developing applications that are work working great. So yeah, I've also created an article in here with all the details that were going to to discuss and the commands that we're going to, to run to install Dockage on our VPS server. So we're going to use uh, Hesner for this installation. If you don't know, Hesner has uh, very good VPSs and the prices are very good. I will let a link in the description with a review of this. And in here, I will just go and add a VPS server and uh, I will go and add it in uh, Falkenstein. I will choose Ubuntu for this. You can install it on anything that has uh, Docker and uh, also it's supporting the IRM and Intel architecture, the, the DocJ control panel. So I will choose the AMD shape with three CPUs. I will choose the key. I will create a name for this. I'll just use a test DocJ, DocJ. So I will hit create and buy now for the VPS. You can uh, choose various shapes of G VPSs in function of uh, your application and what you want to host in there. For this test, the one that it has three CPUs and uh, four gigabytes of RAM, it's enough to test it. So we're just going to wait for this to finish. Let me open this. Oh so yeah, server, it, it has been created. So the next thing that we're going to do is to go and log into the terminal of this uh, server. So we can go and install DocJet there and see how we can use it and uh, let me open the terminal. So let's log in. So this is the connection string with the key and the IP address. I will hit yes in here. So right now I am logged into the VPS server and the next thing that we're going to do is to go and install the install the Docker and in here I have all the commands that you need to, to run. I've already created a video in the past. I will let the link to the description of all the commands and the explanations. So basically this will install Docker and Docker Compose. So we can install Dockage in, in here. So let's go and run these commands right now. I will just run it like, like this and they will uh, be installed one by one. Let's wait for a minute or two for this to finish. It didn't take a lot. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we run this installation is finished and if we run docker ps, we should be able to see the docker command in here. Docker minus V, you see that we have the 2407 installation. And uh, the next thing that we are going to do is to go and install a docj in there. So first we are gonna go and create some directory. Then we are gonna go into a directory where we're going to download the compose file and we are gonna run the command to start this uh, uh, docj application. And let's go and make the directories first. And in here that this directory will be used for the stacks for the DocJ installation. So right now we are going to go into DocJ and we are going to run this curl command that will gonna fetch the latest uh, Docker Compose file for us. And if you see in here, you see that you have the Compose file. And right now we're just going to go and run this Docker Compose app in this file. It's looking like this right now. So you can go and change the port if you want to use a different port. Right now this will gonna use 5001. This is the port. So yeah, you can change things in here if you if you want. So let's go and run this. And then to see if we can access this installation. So right now it's uh, pulling the image and it's just uh, trying to start it. Okay, we're gonna go and run Docker PS. You will see in here that you have an image that is running is using the 5001 port and so on. And right now, if we're going to go and uh, fetch the IP address again, and if we're gonna put this with the 8000, sorry, 5001 port, you will see that you will be redirected to the UI of uh, DocJ and in here you can choose the language and first we're gonna create a user with a password, create. And right now you see that this is the interface. In here you have the 
options to see the Docker containers that are running, exit it inactive, you can convert the Docker run command from the Docker run to Docker compose. You can uh, also add different installations with dockage in here to manage them. In here you have the console where you can run some commands like this in here. You can see you are in the OPT stacks and in here. Right now we don't have anything, but we are going to add. Another thing that we have in here is the scan uh, uh, stacks folder. And if we're going to create a folder in here and we're going to add a Docker Compose file, it will just uh, go and uh, add it in, in here. We can uh, do that and see how it's how it's working. And in settings, uh, you have the option for the appearance. You can get the primary host name in here. And this will gonna just fetch the IP address, the about, you have them in here. And uh, yeah, this is the interface. The interface it's clean and easy to use. When you want to update this, you just uh, run the Docker Compose command to fetch the latest image. You have it also in, in, in here. You see, this is the way to update it. You just uh, update it very easily. Just pull the latest image and you run Docker Compose up minus D and it will be updated the latest version. So right now I will just add the Dozzle in here. If you don't know Dozzle, it's an um, application that can help you see the Docker containers and logs and things like that. This is just to have something that it's uh, added in, in here. So what I'm going to do is to go and create this uh, in the UI. And let's go and uh, do that in, in here. So I'll just hit the compose. And in here you have the default thing that it's just added in here. And But you can add the one that you, you like. And in here you have the Docker compose details. You have the image and uh, yeah things like that. You can change the port. You can uh, start this when the server is rebooted if you want to add the restart options in here. But I will just add this for the 5002 port. You can add the environment variables. You can add internal networks if you want in, in here and uh, so on. And in here I will just put a name. I'll put the name Dozzle in here and I will just hit save. So right now this thing it's created and what we can do is to go and start it. So right now you see that it's pulling the details and it's just uh, started the installation and in here you have the terminal with the, the logs. You have the options to update, restart, stop, you can delete it if you want. If you, yeah, you can also edit it if you want and just uh, start this again if you want to add something in. In here, you can access this. So right now, if we're going to go and go to the 5002 port, you see in here that uh, we have Dozzle installed. And in here, you have the Dozzle container with the logs and the memory and the load and the dockage with uh, the logs that they are in, in there. So you see that uh, yeah, you can easily install them. You can convert Docker commands to Docker Compose one. So for instance, if you want to use uh, reverse proxy for this to access your application, you can do so. So for instance, let's try this and create a, a tunnel with Cloudflare tunnels. So in here you can uh, use Cloudflare to proxy directly to your server. And in here we are just going to create a new tunnel. And I will put uh, test docj2. In here I will save the tunnel. And in here you will have an option to use the Docker. And for this you just need to copy this. And uh, what you need to do is to go into the default installation in here and you go and add this and you convert this to, to the Docker Compose. And in here, for instance, if you want to always restart or let's restart this image if it wasn't stopped, so start automatically, you can uh, do so and uh, go and add it in, in here. Okay. And again, you can put it a name and I'll put it like for the name in here and then I will just hit save and then I will hit start. So yeah, right now this image will start and what will happen, it will be the fact that this will link our installations to the Cloudflare tunnels. 
and uh, right now you see in here that we have a tunnel and for instance if we are gonna want to add a subdomain or a domain for this to uh, go and uh, access the application we can do so and we can do that uh, in here we can add a subdomain and the main domain like this and in here we can choose the http and in here you can add the ip address of the server with the port for the application this is for the main application i will hit save tunnel and uh, right now uh, let me put three in here because i did a test already earlier so right now you see in here that uh, this was created and we can go and uh, access this so you see in here that right now you can go and access this uh, installation uh, securely and yeah ever and uh, you can add the uh, different subdomains in there if you want for your application if you have more you can for instance add also dazzle you can um, also add uh, a reverse proxy with uh, nginx if you want to access this externally so yeah in here right now you have access to the to the logs and uh, to the details so you see in here that we already have the details in in the in the logs so yeah this is a uh, dogj and uh, yeah i like it because it's simple and it's a good portainer alternative and uh, it is uh, easy to use and uh, it will help you easily host your docker compose applications you can even create them manually on your server and uh, do the scan stack folder and then it will uh, pop up in in here so this is dogj i hope you enjoy the video i will let uh, another video into here that will uh, show you some of the panels the hosting panels that i am using that are uh, interested as uh, dogj is so thanks for watching and see you in the next video